It looks like Elon Musk has reached an agreement with the SEC and they're finally ending this months-long standoff between the two because he was using social media here to put out information on his thoughts, his opinions, and whatever else about daily life like everyone else does. The problem was is apparently he started talking about his business and some of these aspects. And in turn, because of some of the things he said, shares dumped or made moves that some saw as being illegal, like illegal type of stuff. So they came came at him and they were like, look, you can't do this, you can't do that. And in the end, they're saying that if you want to talk about your car company, you have to have it pre-approved by a securities lawyer before you even hit the tweet button. Or any other post of social media for that matter. So he can talk about regular life, I guess. But you want to say anything about your company, it has to go through a lawyer. This is per orders of the SEC. Now, how far is that going to go? Is this just applied to Elon Musk? Is this going to be applied to others? Well, I guess we're going to have to wait and see in terms of all this, but this is what they've done. Wanted to make mention of it. And in this day and age, we have people tweeting left and right all types of stuff, like Trump all the time, and Marco Rubio, that let the cat out of the bag, that we knew everything about the lights going out in Venezuela within minutes of it happening. Everyone was like, hold on. And you guys are saying you had nothing to do with it? How come you know before any of the news outlets even knew anything? It kind of gave away things. You have to ask yourself, how long are they going to let that go down? Him popping off at the mouth too soon on Twitter, releasing information, basically exposing their hand. You know, I'm seeing things like that out there. And you're talking about people that are coming from a political, professional realm rep representing this country that could just go on Twitter and start dropping information. And sometimes it's vital information and military information that really should not be shared in the open giving away hands but it happens out here and you know they come after us and they censor us doesn't matter they censor us all they want they put a lid on it they don't share it no notifications just that simple shadow ban stay in your own little bubble you see you think you're doing something out there but you're just you're not swimming you're just barely treading water you're not getting anywhere because they've got you in a bubble these guys out here, anything that they tweet out and say, coming from their their accounts, like Rubio, Trump, it just gets blasted out there. They're not censoring them. They're not pulling back on them. They're just letting it go. So censorship is already in effect in terms of us, the people. It's already there. It's just going to new levels every day. And it's sad. But when I see this, I wonder where is this all going because they're clamping down on him. They do nothing to someone like Rubio that's drop, that drops military information out here in the open that he shouldn't be saying. And if they're going to do this to Elon Musk, who's going to be next? Who are they going to order to have to talk to a lawyer before you even post anything to social media? Well, some could say it'd be a smart move anyway, business-wise, before you go saying something stupid about your business. But... There's always a debate. There's always a back and forth. And everybody's got an opinion, amongst other things. But wanted to shed some light on this. I will update as I hear more. I'll leave a link below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest as well. Much love, y'all.